Good yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Um, we saw that you lost Lisandro Martinez this week. How big a blow is that? And is anyone else close to a return this week? Perhaps Mason Mount, Aaron Wambasaka? Um, yeah, it's a um, uh, setback, of course. Uh, Lidja just returning. You see, you see his contribution to the team when he's playing. Um, so he brings, um, apart from, from his technical um, skills, also mentality in the team. But yeah, um, it's a big setback for Lidja. He's very disappointed about it, but he's a fighter and he will be back. He will be stronger back. Um, so uh, we think he can still, he, he still be back by the end of the season. So there are games to play. And as a squad, we have to uh, replace him. And we have uh, very good uh, players um, in that uh, position uh, who, can, who can play there and will play there and will perform there. So uh, as a squad, we have to deal with it. And then the second part of your question, um, yeah, Aaron Bambisaka today, he um, was training, when, but then he dropped out. So I'm not, I don't know in this moment where he is, um, what, is the, what is the diagnose. Hopefully it's not too bad. And Mason and Ty are not ready to return into the squad. So Jim Ratcliffe has been quoted as saying he wants Old Trafford to be a Wembley of the North going forward. I just wonder... I mean, I assume that's music to your ears, but as a manager, would you welcome changes to the stadium, even if it meant you had to perhaps play away from Old Trafford while the work was done? So if that's his view, yeah. um, then I would say um, it express the ambition of, of this club, uh, which is good. Uh, but uh, yeah, further on, it's not my task in this club. And, uh, to, to deal uh, with stadium questions, with facilities. Uh, my job is uh, to perform the team, uh, to manage the team, to build the squad. In terms of your team, uh, you've, the form has picked up magnificently in recent weeks. Uh, you're on your longest unbeaten run of the season now. And the goals have started coming as well after 18 in your first 18 league games. I think you've scored 13 in your last five. Um, were you always confident that would happen? And is it kind of the fact that Rasmus has found his form, Garnacho on the right, that it's clicked? Yeah, players uh, need time, especially young players. You, you mentioned like uh, Rasmus and, and, um, and Alejandro. They need time, um, but also they need a team. And so those two facts were not there in the first part of the season. Um, um, yeah, uh, the team, and we had to make a lot of adjustments uh, in, our, in our way of play. And so, uh, was by, by stages, it was difficult to serve the offensive part of the, of the team. And you know, when that happens, then also uh, it can go really quickly. And that play is going to develop and to progress. That is what we have seen. But uh, yeah, I was from the start, I was confident that they have the potential and to do this, what they are now doing. And now it's about uh, keep moving, keep going, um, um, uh, be hungry. Uh, um, Eric, you've spoken about consistency a lot and balance, and Lissandra was a player that offered both. Without him, you do have options to change it. Will we see Luke Shaw shift centrally, or <laughs> do you expect Victor Lindelof to come in there? Uh, we have options. Um, how to deal uh, with, uh, with that position. We have a good centre halves in our squad. And um, so the, the others are all available. Uh, Luke can play also there, yeah. Um, so but, yeah, I'm quite confident that we can keep this process going and that, uh, that others can fulfil that position and also contribute and play in high levels. Um, those players are experienced and are very good players. So it's up to them now to fill it in. You're still keen to keep somebody who's comfortable using his left foot there for the build-up play? Yeah, that is, it's, it's an advantage. Well, um, we have seen, but um, yeah, we have to work on, on plays. But plays can also develop um, in, in such positions when you work with them, when you coach them, when you train them. And yeah, I see our players in the back line making better decisions I've seen that they um, uh, develop their skills in building up. And 
Yeah, so I'm quite confident that we can keep this process from a better ball play from the back, that we can keep that going. Hey, Eric. Um, we saw Villa play with a, a full first team last night and, and lose. Um, now, with your desire to get in the Champions League for next season, does this now become a must-win game for yourselves to dislodge them and raise yourself? Uh, I've said to the team from the start of January, every, every game is now final. So that was also our approach when we to, to West Ham United. Uh, we were one, one point behind them, but this is a final. Uh, let's, we have to take this challenge. Uh, we have to see this as a final. And so that will be every game from now on for us. So yeah, we are already in that mood. Elman. Just on Villa, Unai Emery's obviously had a lot of praise for what he's done this season. What, what do you think he's kind of done particularly well to bring Villa on in the way that we've seen? I, it's, um, uh, it's very, um, very good how we develop this team and it's very clear how they want to play uh, <laughs> in and out of possession. And I think the players know exact what they have to do, uh, their, their jobs and how it has to cooperate with each other. So they are a really team. Uh, they have uh, absolutely weapons um, in their team. Yeah, so we have to play our maximum levels to, to get the right result. Samuel. You, you spoke about the senior centre-halves so you have got available uh, on Sunday. Johnny Evans and Rafael Varane are out of contract in the summer. Do you want to keep them next season? We, we, we ha um, haven't made the decision yet. Neil, um, Eric, we saw that great picture of the three young players sitting on the advertising hoarding after the goal. How would you describe the relationship they have on and off the pitch? And has their sort of, uh, have they brought a sort of excitement to the squad, do you think? Yeah, I think uh, they, uh, they enjoy to play together. Uh, uh, there's adventure, uh, they are a danger, they want to do it together. Um, they want also to, to pass the ball to each other, uh, also uh, that everyone uh, can play to, to the qualities and also that everyone uh, can score goals. And yeah, it's great if they uh, want to do it together, because I think that's the key. And uh, then we can have a lot of pleasure uh, from this. And yeah, they are young players, and I have said it before, I think the future for Manchester United is, is quite bright with such much talent. Um, on board, but we have to develop uh, the, the talent because yeah, there's a lot of uh, space for improvement and that's necessary if you want to go to top levels and this club uh, wants to achieve a lot, this club wants to, to win trophies, so uh, very ambitious, so then they have to step up, uh, they have to bring higher levels, uh, they have to bring consistency in their game, but also against the best opposition, they have to to express the same uh, the same threat and the same. Especially, uh, it's all about that and product. Uh, Hi, Eric. Just going back to um, Lissandro Martinez, you've, you've had some serious bad luck with injuries this season. Now he came off initially, in the incident, then he went back on. What was the thinking there? That maybe made it worse. Did it aggravate it? The fact that he went back on and tried to play on. Might he be out sort of for less time if he hadn't done that? Uh, I don't think so. But um, Lisandro uh, was, was his decision. And he was um, f comfortable at, at to, to be back on the pitch. Uh, and, but after he tried, and then I think he stopped uh, almost in the next attack. Is it almost impossible then to diagnose that at the time, you know, when he initially comes off? It's not possible. Yes, <laughs> you. Um, in some situations, it's clear and obvious. Eh? But so there's always a grey area, and, and and it's very difficult already to see eh, when you are on the sideline. So what, what happened there? And of course, we have we have the screens. Eh, we we seen that as well. And of course, our uh, uh, medicals eh, are are over there, and they communicating with the player, eh, but to. Uh, to assess in, in one, two minutes is impossible. Uh, uh, the more, uh, I will always tell you, after a game, I can't tell you, uh, because you need 24, 24 hours minimum, and maybe sometimes even longer. So how can you do this?